Greetings. My name is Jatendra Romani, and I'm the director here at Albon. We are Custom Tailors. I have a special announcement to make today. But first, allow me to tell you a little of my history. I've lived in Hong Kong most of my life. My father, Chris, was in the tailoring business. He named his company Albon. I went to university in New York, studied business management, and returned to Hong Kong in 1999. I always knew I would join the family business, so whilst in New York, I researched what a good suit was and how it was made. Five years later, I opened my first tailor workshop here in Shenzhen, China. Almost every tailor I interviewed failed to make a good coat or a pen. Their skill level was not good enough. They were used to making low quality jackets which uses glue to take care of and replace the difficult handwork normally required. It's not the Shenzhen tailors fault they don't do a good job. It's what they've been taught. Almost all Hong Kong custom tailor suits are made in Shenzhen and almost all Hong Kong tailors make their garments using glue for all the difficult areas. This is the easiest, quickest and lowest quality of make and is one of the reasons why Hong Kong tailors have a poor reputation in the international market. But by offering higher pay, I was able to attract the best talent around. Out of more than 500 tailors interviewed and hundreds of clothing I'll never wear, only five made me smile, and here they are. This is Xie Sifu, our master cutter. Without a doubt, the best cutter in all of China. This is not only my opinion, but the opinion of every single one of my customers, including those who have used other Hong Kong tailors before. I can speak volumes about this man. Liu Sifu is our master pan tailor. He has shown me the very best pen I have ever seen in my entire life. Without a doubt, the number one pan tailor in all of China. Now, Pan Sifu is one of the first jacket tailors that ever came to me. He makes a remarkable coat. This is Lai Sifu. Now, Lai Sifu is the first jacket tailor who ever put a smile to my face. He makes perfection every day. It was only a handful of tailors, but good enough to start. I tore and began teaching some of the better tailors who did not make me smile, but were close. A few years of painstaking hard work they finally came around to make me smile as well. Albon suits do not use glue and are made at the highest level, the most demanding skill requirement, the same way as the great tailors of the world. The way I judge a custom suit is similar to how diamonds are graded, how perfect it is, how flawless it is. There are four C's in custom tailoring, just the same as diamonds. Cut, construction, clean finishing, and canvas. Every person should consider these four C's when purchasing any suit. Find out more about the four C's and how to grade a custom suit in our website. An Albon suit scores the highest marks, grade A for each of the four criteria. A rare precious gem indeed. By 2006, we had enough skill tailors and I decided it was time to get new customers. So I showed the work we did to a few select tailors in America and the United Kingdom. I approached members of a tailoring association called Custom Tailors and Designers of America, CTDA for short, about 150 members. We received an overwhelming response and secured a large portion as new customers, including former presidents and vice presidents of the CTDA. A few will be submitting their videos and will be available for your viewing shortly. In addition, over the years, we have attracted world-famous tailors such as William Fioravanti, Leonard Logsdale, William Westmancott, plus many other high-status notables. If you have not heard of these people, I strongly suggest that you do an internet search to see how great these tailors really are. Here's a little of what I could find. Here's a blog named Ask Andy About Clothes. The subject, highly constructed bespoke suit. It mentions Fioravanti at 6,000 US dollars, Logsdale at 5,000, and William Westmancott, 4,900 to 90,000 US dollars. 
Here's one from Esquire magazine. The article, The Perfect Suit, mentions only Fear of Auntie and that he is made for famous American singer Frank Sinatra, Steve Wynn, owner of Wynn Casino Macau, Las Vegas and elsewhere in the world, Fortune 500 CEOs, and Nobel Prize winners. Forbes magazine, America's leading business magazine, and owned by Steve Forbes. The article, The Most Expensive Suits, mentions William Fioravanti and Leonard Logsdale. Rob Report, the luxury magazine of America. It mentions Fioravanti as the best private tailor and also mentions that he is the private tailor to the Rockefeller family, the richest and most powerful family in America. These people are the great tailors of the world. There are no higher. When you make at the level of these masters, you're making at the highest level. This is more respected, more appreciated, more expensive than any LV, Gucci, or any other uh, famous fashion designer. This is common knowledge in America and Europe. Simply put, there is no higher level than what we make. And what we made, these very tailors, the paramount in the trade, paid attention to. Alban Custom Clothes are proudly made in China. In order to catch the eye of a world great, you must present to them work that is flawless, that is perfect. They have the sharpest eyes and can see subtle imperfections that most people never see. They don't just ask any other tailor workshop to make for them. I'm sure they've been approached by hundreds of clothing manufacturers many times in the past only to be disappointed with the results. They contacted us. They considered us to make for them. To be able to attract one great tailor is very good for any tailoring company. To attract three of the greatest tailors plus dozens of highest status tailors and clothiers is no small accomplishment. My father, being in this business since the early 60s, never heard of any Hong Kong tailor being approached by a single world great tailor. After all, Hong Kong tailors have a reputation of cheap suits in the international community. Now I'm not showing my work to all the tailors in America or England, only those that I could find the addresses of. I've not shown our work to the masters of Italy, rest of Europe, rest of the world. At that time we got so many new customers that it was too much. So I decided to stop my expansion plans, put them on hold. I have no doubt that when we do showcase our work to the rest of the world, they will also respect and appreciate the work we do. Our work suits are worthy to kings, royals, and emperors. And when you wear one, you will certainly feel like one. The tailors I have here are a treasure, very precious indeed. They are without a doubt the very best in China and have spent the past five years searching throughout. These Chinese have proved they can make a world-class product, a world-respected, made-in-China product. I got them by offering higher pay. When I came to China and found out about the low prices, I laughed. I couldn't believe they requested so low. I thought they were mad. But then I realized they did not know any better. They did not know the true value of their work in the foreign market. Even though only 20 miles away from one of the most expensive cities in the world. The real value of their work was kept hidden from them. All they knew was the price they were offered by their employers, the Hong Kong tailors. Over time, some found out that they were getting only a quarter compared to the Hong Kong tailor for doing the same exact work and they feel cheated. What I could not believe was how their bosses could put them in such terrible living and working conditions. You see, all the Hong Kong tailoring workshops are in the cheapest places in all Shenzhen. Here are some that I've come across in the past. If you have purchased a Hong Kong tailored custom suit before, these are the very places they have been made. These are the actual tailors who have made your custom clothes, the clothes on your backs. I'm sorry to inform you that your Hong Kong custom suit was not made in Hong Kong, but actually China. Surely these places are not what a quality custom suit should be made. 